Perfect. You and your long bonus. Your the longitude of your bonus is not beneficial beneficiary to me. So fuck you. <laughs> I like insults that are stemmed with just big words that end with just a, with, with an expletive. Oh, you know, the, the the fucking... Except I can't think of one right now because I'm brain dead! I got the moosh. I got moosh in me. Please, oh, oh no. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be dangerous. That is gonna be really dangerous. Do I have anything, Lagoos, at all? Oh boy. I better, uh, retreat back into the shadows. I need your guys' help. Wait, how far can you travel? Okay, so you only go here. That's fine. Please don't attack. It's the last thing I want. Now then. Don't you have... Yes, you do. Oh, no. So he can he can come up to here. So he can attack here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Fuck off. Um. Perfect. Come and fight me, you little bitch. I fucking dare you. I will fuck you up so good you'll have no, you'll have no idea what's happening. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck him and fuck all of all of his dumbness. That just hurt a little bit. That, however, hurt a lot, so <laughs> middle fingers all around. Everybody gets a middle finger. Fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> It hurts! Stop it with the hurtness. Oh, fuck yeah. Do I have a better one? Eh, whatever. Damage is done, and you crit anyway. Who's the... Who's the real super good unit now, Seahark? I'm the better swordmaster. No, I'm the better swordmaster. I don't know. That killer lance does a lot of damage, even without the use of crits. Long range, maybe? Wait. Who was the one that picked up the. Who's the one that picked up the key? You did. Okay. That guy's blocking my. That guy's blocking my way. <coughs> God damn it! <laughs> coughing, coughing the the section. So much of it. Then you guys will know, like, once I'm done with something, once I'm done with this, they'll be like, hey, he's not coughing as much in this episode than he was in the last episode. I gotta sleep! Oh, no, I'm so sleepy. So much sleep. Oh, so, oh, so tired. What is it? Just... Making ev just everyone pop pills. We're, uh, we're doing despicable, horrible 
Bill Cosby-esque stuff. We're just roofing the living fuck out of everyone. Especially Rolf with his dumb roofie bow, his roofie arrows. I need those assholes to come to me, not the other way around. Uh-oh. Oh, I need to get out of there. I need to get out of there. Hello, one thief. One thief! Let's get the fuck out of here. Also, fuck him. Fuck the thieves. I can't remember if they give you extra experience. It would be a good idea to get rid of that guy's long-range attacks as soon as possible, too. We don't want him just continuously... ...trying to screw us over as we make our way up. He's only got three more. Jeez, there's so many of them. Spirit dust? You mean cocaine? <laughs> Makes things magical. Yeah, the cocaine. Heal her, please. She's had too much poison in her diet. I need to extradite it from her. Now, what's that guy's rank? Okay, good. So. I just don't, I just don't want him coming towards us if, uh, I don't want him to attack us. I don't want to hurt him. I want to make sure that guy lives. That guy needs to live. If he's going to be a dickhole and attack us. Let's take the safer route. Haha! -ha! I ain't scared of you, you little bitch! No poison for me, please. Very much like it if that didn't happen. Now, what extra strength will I have? He has so much fucking health, man. Just keep that health rolling. This is kind of unfair. I, I feel like I just have to keep coming back. Damn, man. That's a lot of damage. That motherfucker didn't even stand a chance. He was dead before he hit the ground. Damn, I don't have the key anymore. Just, uh... Just wait here. Damn priest. You know, you're not making this any easier by being a human shield. But we didn't want to be a human shield. Well, too late for that! I wonder if I get anything. I think, like, it depends on how many you save. I think you get, like, cash or something. They're, like, so grateful. I hope that if you save them all, you get, like, a super cool item or something. Again, I don't know. I've always just not cared. I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm certain that whatever I get will not be worth having to shove these motherfuckers around, but... I'm, I'm wiser! I know about these things now, so it's worth a try. Now then. Okay, so I can silence up to there. That's nice. I 
should check if I if, can I convoy this. I'd like for sleepy time, please. We'll silence him now. Don't want him coming down and attacking us. Nice! Five turns. Oh, I can't convoy it. Maybe that's just awakening that I'm thinking of. That sucks. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but I guess not. He doesn't, he doesn't seem, he, why, why just him? Is it just because he's the closest? Maybe they just don't want him to move. Ah, oh, dude, and it's just a lot of bows. It's just a lot of fucking assholes with bows up there. I need to get him down to my position. I don't think they'll be able to do the damage. Unless they're pretty much dead set on staying up there the whole time, in which case, fuck you. I don't care. Ike will just tear through them. Tear through them all. Yeah, man, I don't... Yes! Yes! Lead him down to me. Look at that. Look at that no damage. You just, oh, look, little leaf in the wind. I feel nothing. I feel nothing for your... For your... Non-piercing am ammo. You're a mercenary company. Get better funding for your weapons. Hooray! No, I won't get hurt as much. Let's go fuck shit up. Let's go fuck it real good. Now then, can you get us up there? In a manner that causes little to no damage to my army, and also at the same time not harm any of those little tiny priests. The priest must be saved! I still have one left. Maybe I can kill him before he can cause any more damage to me. That would be awesome. I can also see that not happening, but... What did I say about not using Rolf's bow? Don't don't use Rolf's bow? Yes! But why are you using it? I don't know. Kills him anyway, and I'd rather... At this point now, I have that brave bow. I probably should not use it. Unless absolutely necessary, like actually killing the opponent I need to kill. And then eight. So you'll go there. That's the range I need to worry about. Now, will you actually kill them? That's the real question. No. That sucks. You, stay there, because that guy with the bolting, I don't like him. That guy with the... <laughs> Aether! Exciting, isn't it? It's always exciting to see an Aether. Which is why I can't wait until uh, Rolf gets a dead shot in. Wow, still four turns. That's amazing! We may be able to get through this without really harming anybody, which is awesome. That's exciting.
Ooh, can we silence him too? Yes! <laughs> I can't, can't use anything anymore. What do you mean you can't use anything? They, they have advanced tactics. Let's scooch up a little bit then. Just gotta save that other silence for... Game was having a brain fart. It was like, oh shit, what are, what are we doing? I can't shove him? I can't. Interesting. I thought I could shove, but I could not. No shoving. No shoving allowed. Let's make sure. Ah, and then these guys. Well, I'm thinking because they're priests, though, they won't move. But who knows? Who knows what will really happen? Let's just Rolf it up for now. I guess at this point I should assume that any anything that says priest on it should, uh be saved. I mean, all I really have to do is fight the, the bad guy, like the main boss. I think I win. I think it's defeat boss. Although I am kind of going into this pretty recklessly. Um... Quickly, shove him to the side. Yeah. I guess if you can only be attacked from one side, you might as well. No, I don't want to do that. Items. Just in case these guys decide to, like, fuck you! I just want to make sure that, at the very least, I have options. Wouldn't want to get into this fucking face first and just face plant dead. I ain't as scared of your bow. Probably won't even do anything. Look at that, nothing. Nothing you do. Well, you do seem pretty dead set on fucking up the one person that I bet can pretty much come at you with just so much fury. Oh, how sad. Here I was hoping for something a little bit better. Fuck it. Killer Axum. <coughs> Again, why can't you crit on the first hit? That's not funny. Crit on the first hit so I don't waste this. That's why I use it. I hope I hope to God that you can crit on the first hit. Never the case. Ever, ever. Oh, I wish I could move you up a little more. Nope. Nope. How very sad. I have a good chance of critting, though. I mean, so far, Mia has just been at the forefront of just non-stop crits, but of course there's always going to be those off chance where it's not going to happen. Whatever. I don't care. Oh man, if I can kill him now. Brave bow. 
can almost kill him. Almost. I wish I could shove. I wish I could shove, but I can't. I can't move from the side so I can attack from the front. Bye! I want to speed through this mission. I'm just ready. I'm ready for this one to already be done. Oh, I can. But I can't make it up there. Oh, I can with her, though. I think. Yes, I can. Oh, yes! All right. I'm certain that whatever damage she can do will totally add up in the end. I think I just have to pray for just one hit, don't I? Although, I'm pretty certain, I'm pretty certain that Rolf will just fuck him up anyway. Hey, robes! If I get so much as scratch, you better get to healing! See, there's the crit, there's the crit! And Rolf. Ah! Should have brought more priests. Or some babies. <laughs> Dang. What an asshole! Here I was worried that I wasn't going to get anything done, and I do like a killer bow. Why Rolf's bow. Done with this mission. Oh, thank you very much. I never imagined that we would be rescued by soldiers of an enemy nation. Oh, I didn't get that last chest, did I? There was no way we'd cut down innocent priests being forced to fight against their wills. Father, we bear no ill will toward the kingdom of day in itself. We wish only to reclaim the homeland which was unjustly taken from us. That is the reason we fight. We have no desire to invade this land, if nothing else. Please believe that. I beg your pardon. May I have the favor of your name? Valencia Rydell Crimea. I'm the sole survivor of the Crimean royal family. Oh, you. Let us give thanks that you are alive and well. And please, I beg your understanding as well. There are many Dayans who do not support the king's actions. I understand. Hmm. My young general, this is for you. Huh? As thanks for saving our lives. Got the Ashera staff. Is that one like the far away healing one? Now it's time to search this place. My lord Ike, may I join you? Sure, why not? Everyone's lending, uh... Ike, Ike, where are you? Mist, I'm over here. Ike, this way, quickly! Raisin's in trouble! What? Raisin, what is it? He's not liking what he sees. He's been like this from the moment he set foot in this room. He's just staring at the walls. Satanic symbols! Oh, not somebody who likes to write a lot. What is all this? Every wall has the same pattern on it. It's not a pattern. It's an ancient language. All chants and spells and magic scrolls are written thusly. Can you read it, Sorin? Some, but not all. Spells are simple, whereas this is a complex narrative. I think Prince Raisin could read it. I bet this is the same language that Leanne was speaking. It is. It's the Serena's language. Their chants are all in this language, too. So Raisin is reading what's written on the walls? It appears that way. Shall we leave him be? There's a lot of writing here. This could take hours. I think that's a good idea. Just a complex narrative. Ike! What is it? From what I could gather, I think a person was locked in this room sometime in the past. You don't know who it is, do you? I wasn't able to read enough of the writing, but I found this under the bed. Is this? I think it may have belonged to whoever was imprisoned in this room. Hmm. We don't even know. We don't even know! What is it? I apologize. I took up much of your time. Raisin, you don't look so good. Why don't you rest for a bit? No, I'm, I'm fine. It's more important that we talk. About the owner of this feather? Oh, it's a feather. 
Was it in that room? Soren found it. Whose was it? Lilia, my older sister. The writing on the walls is hers. You have an older sister too? Will you tell us about it? She was kidnapped 20 years ago, on the night of the Serena's massacre. I thought that Lilia had been murdered along with my brothers, other brothers and sisters. I believe that until today. Who took her? The walls say only that he was a large human. She probably never knew who it was. He thrust a clan treasure at her and demanded that she use her magic to revive the thing that sealed inside it. He exhorted her again and again, but to no avail. Lilia refused his request every time, because she did not possess that power. Someone wanted to revive the Dark God. Shortly after she was brought here, Lilia fell ill and collapsed. I'm not surprised. It was a terrible time. She was imprisoned in that tiny room with no view of earth or sky. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Mist. Ah, I'm sorry. I just feel so sad for Lilia and for Forazen too. I beg your pardon. Let me continue. A young Bjork began coming to the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and blue eyes, and her heart was unusually pure for Bjork. In time, Lilia and she came to be friends and shared a mutual trust. Ha ah, ah. ha! Lilia decided to entrust her hopes to the woman. They shared no common language, so it took some time. But eventually, the Bjork woman understood what it was Lilia wanted, which was to take the treasure and the song and flee this temple. Brother! Was there anything... Else written about this Bjork woman? A name, perhaps? Brother. Translated into our language, it was probably Alina. I knew it, mother! It was our mother! What? Are you sure? Our mother's name was Alina. Like me, her hair was blue, as were her eyes. Raisin, the object referred to as your clan treasure, was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? H how do you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake. The song, too. My parents both gave their lives to protect it. Ike, you and Mr. Alina's children? Then Laurent's medallion is here? Um, the medallion was stolen, probably by Dayan. It can't. This is unbelievable. Can a thing like this be chance? To be honest, I don't fully understand all that's happened, but it all makes sense. It all comes together. Ah. I don't know why you need a scene transition to just play music. You could have just played music. Very pretty, though. Mist, that's the song that... But the melody's a little different, isn't it? It's similar to the song Raisin and Leanne sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It is the song of release, the one Lilia entrusted to Alina. But I, I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night, and nothing ever happened. The magical effect of the song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't be unleashed by just anyone. The true song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altina. Lilia wanted your mother to take the melody to Altina and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serena's forest. Kinda of fucked now, aren't we? The story's becoming clearer and clearer. My father fled Dane to protect my mother, who is carrying the amulet. Ike, how did you know? Volk told me. He told me about my father's past, and the amulet, and the dark god, too. So you know everything. King Ashnar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle. After all, the man who found my father was the king's henchman. Ike, are you saying you know who killed Commander Grail? You never said anything about that. We all thought his murderer was unknown. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. Way to keep information from your troops, like really important stuff. I tell me! Oh, oh god, calm to calm your tits. Can we discuss this later? Hmm. Uh, oh, yes, 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 of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even if we now add that stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer. Our enemy remains unchanged. King Dayton and his henchmen are the ones we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Raisin said the same thing earlier, but could all this really be mere coincidence? 
The fall of Crimea, Ike's parents, the death of Raisin's sister, the fact that everything leads back to Dayan. If true, it changes the meaning behind this war. The treatment of Lilia is one thing, but the assassination of the former apostle, the framing and destruction of my nation? If it was all part of Dayan's plan to steal the medallion and the song, then I... The reason I fight. Hmm. Curious indeed. Just curiouser and curiouser.